Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. My sister is down from Washington, so my mom's sister and I thought it would be really fun to go over to Boise and do a little bit of antique and garden center shopping, and I thought you guys might like to come along for the ride. In fact, they are here and they are ready to roll. Hello. Hello. You guys ready for this? Yes. Oh, always. The truck is cleaned out, ready for lots of goodies. And coffee. That too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're stopping at Jolson Juice Quick for our morning fix of coffee before we head out on the road. It's like a 45 minute drive to Boise yeah. from where we live. Hey, I like your mask. Is that, are those roses? Uh, yeah, they are. Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh my it's pretty one. Are yeah, way prettier than my all black one. <laughs> Hey, Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, we got our coffees. We're ready to rock. Yes. What are you looking for, Monica? Um, I'm looking for blue spode dishes and um, anything pewter and really neat looking old cookbooks. Nice. What about you? Uh, all the things. <laughs> That's me too. <laughs> so I'm kind of on the lookout for maybe some things for the studio. We really need to warm up that space. And I haven't had a chance to really wrap my brain around what I want to do. Um, I know we need to add some colors on the wall, like actually paint the walls a color instead of white. But I thought it would be fun to find some really neat framed artwork. Maybe some botanical prints or something like that would look really good in there. And then I also would love to find some kind of a shallow a uh, cupboard, not cupboard, a uh, hutch or something um, that I could display vases in because I would really like to move all of my flower arranging supplies out there to one location um, and not have to do my arranging in the kitchen where I get the floor and everything all gross and messy, uh, but I'd rather like to keep the mess out in the studio. Well, we chose a really beautiful day to come out and shop. It was so rainy and windy yesterday and chilly. Today it's supposed to be 45 degrees. See a little bit of snow on the hills over there getting closer to Boise now. The Antique World Mall is kind of our main go-to. It's our, always our first stop. It's the biggest antique store that I know of around here. It's like a huge, what do they call it, mom? Like, like not a, a co-op. Kind of a co-op. Yeah. So there's a ton of booths that are, um, like different people can rent the booth space out. And I don't know how many there are, but like a hundred. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty big. Um, so this one usually takes the longest to go through. So typically we time it to where we get over here, we go through this antique store and then it's just like perfect timing for lunch. We break for lunch and then we go to the other smaller shops. Here we go. Hopefully it is a good day. Yes. Sometimes we come over here and we find a lot and sometimes you don't find a dang thing. I know. But so, we will find stuff, yep. something yes. today. Okay, so this is the first aisle, you guys. And every single one of these like little sections are different booths. And every booth has a different flavor. There's Monica and my mom up there. They're way ahead of me. There's so much to see. So this is the first booth, just to give you kind of an idea. And then as you go, like you'll see, this one has more of an opulent look to it. And every one of them just has its own thing. And you could just... I mean, I could spend all day in here. There's several pieces that I've been looking at every single time I come in, kind of like this one right here. I think that's a really pretty little dresser. And you have to make sure to look up too because there's lots of different light fixtures and pictures to look at as well. It's like a treasure trove. This one's always got some interesting light fixtures. Like, look at that one, DIY to the max. However, this one right here, I have been looking at. I think it's really pretty. It's a table chandelier. It's got some really pretty detail and it's unique, which I love. And my mom has been looking at this clock for a long time too. And that's the fun thing about this store. Sometimes things move really, really fast and sometimes you actually have a chance to stop and think about it. And some things just kind of hang out here. Like I, I recognize some things from lots of uh, visits past. We were just commenting that that little desk is really pretty, really pretty color. I also really like this dresser here. I sent Aaron a picture. He thinks it's too orange, but I think it's beautiful. It's got the mirror and then it's also got this matching dresser here. It comes as a set. Find anything? Yes, we found a, a baby swing over here. Oh, <laughs> I like the tone in that. <laughs> it looks like nothing but, but I don't safety. know. Safety. Safety, safety features on this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, I have to say I like that mirror right up there. 
in That's between really the two. Pretty. Yeah, that one yeah. right there I think yeah. is really pretty. Super yeah. pretty. And I think this table is really pretty with mm -hmm. the marble top. Yep. And I saw you looking at that. You yeah. liking that one right I there? I did. I thought that was pretty. That'd be pretty with some flowers in yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. super pretty. I this like this picture too. Oh yeah, that's real pretty. Mm -hmm. But that's perfect size for flowers. Yes, it is. Yeah. Everything's a perfect size yes. for flowers. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm missing the traffic lights. Remember, there were traffic lights there in that booth. Yeah. <laughs> like who on earth bought those? <laughs> Everybody's got their thing. Huh? Yeah, that's very true. Okay, prepare yourself. Oh, these desks are cute. They are oh, cute. Yeah. Just said Andrews. Look at. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, honestly, well, this is a finger pincher. And look at that. Standards have improved. Yeah. They have totally improved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lots of Christmas items still. If that picture's still here, I think I'm going to get it. You should. Yeah. You've thought about it. I just like was talking about how like some yeah. items stick around, yeah. but it almost makes it more exciting when you finally pick it up. Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. I've actually had it down and at the counter to buy it. Pompous grass plume for 10 bucks. Oh. You kidding me? I guess if you don't want to grow one, <laughs> it's like selling a, like a branch out of your tree. Here, yeah. here's a branch, 10 bucks. Such a cute little table and chairs. This was here last time. Remember that was oh, yeah. really cute. That is really cool. I don't know what happened to the back of that one. Well, and the chair is different too. Like it the, is. The whole thing is different, the yeah. chair itself. But I think it's such a cute little gaming table. We could play Catan on that. Oh, can you imagine our guys sitting in those chairs? No, well, no. So this middle aisle here is That's filled awesome. with cases with collectibles and such. I mean, all the way down to the very end. And then it comes back up the other aisle the same as well. Who needs a pink chandelier? You were looking at this lamp, weren't you, last time we were here? Uh, there's a pair, Laura. This there's right two. here? Yeah. Yeah. But there's another one over there. But they're see? like $1,000, oh. I think, or but two. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that look just wonderful out beside your doors or? For $2,000. I don't like them that much. <laughs> Art Nouveau floor lamps. It's $2,000 for the pair. What, is, what a deal. Oh, oh mm-hmm. <laughs> Steel. Easy. <laughs> we could buy these pictures and pretend they are part of our family. Well, we could. Which one is it? So mom has been looking at this picture for like a year. At least, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to hold your purse? So pretty. Oh, I guess the gal gals will get it down for you. What do you think? I think you should do it. You've been thinking about it for that long. Yeah, and uh, it's for the fr it's worth it for the frame alone. Yeah. Price wise. It's a really good price. Yeah. And I've looked at it for like a year. Yeah. So. I like to go through things like this too to see if there are any prints that you could frame. I think I bought like this. This is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. I'm partial to black and white etch etchings. Departure from Havery for America. Really cool. Rembrandt's Anatomy Lesson. Interesting. This one's cool. The Stirrup Cup. Oh, I don't like that one. Nope. Nope, Oops. looks like he's about to bludgeon a wolf. No, thank you. Ooh, look at those chandeliers. My word. Monica, I've, I have your answer. <laughs> just light fixture up here. Oh my. Oh, well that would just be perfect. Right? Oh, plus the plastic nativity. <laughs> oh my. I like that chandelier, Laura. Yeah, that's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? That's a beauty. Would that not be big enough? No. How about if you got two of them? No. <laughs> it needs to be about twice that size, I think. Here's a pretty uh, frame. Now that is a couch. I know. It's long. Whoa. Ooh. And low. Low slung. Man, you I couldn't get myself up out of that right now. Right uh, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd be a little afraid to sit back. <laughs> How does it feel? It actually looks comfortable. It does. Ooh. I don't like those. That is a pretty table though. Marble topped. Look at the legs. Boy, that is beautiful. This booth has good book prices. Oh, does it? Oh. Yeah. Take a look through here. Look at this. Look how sweet this is. Oh, that's so cute. Mm -hmm. All right. I think this takes the cake for the weirdest booth in the whole place. I'll show you why here in a second. First of all, it's full of tons of knickknacks. Tons. 
but it's also got like insect collections like in the poor frog right there Whoa. and it's got the alligator head there's a there bat look at that oh yeah looking good oh that was tight oh yes yeah, so we looked at this last time it's a little kid bed, but I'm sure that there's no standard mattress that would fit that. No, you have to have a special made. Mm -hmm. mm. But it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom, here's some peat pots. <laughs> Need some more for the store? Hey, it's actually a unique size. size. Yeah. Size. yeah. Isn't that, that is really pretty. That would be beautiful with flowers in it. Yeah. Let's pull it out here. You want to hold it for me? Yeah. I think that I should have that. Yeah, it's super pretty. Okay, done. Yeah. I'll take it. Wait a minute. I think I like this one better. Yeah, I like them both. That one looks more muted. This one's like bright as life. Probably because this one's not polished. Kind of like the unpolished one. Yeah. yeah. They're both pretty. This is heavy. This is heavy. This, I, I like, like the, the legs. I like the legs. Yeah. But wouldn't that look pretty as a collection? Now we just need one more. We need to find you one more. Looks like this one. Yeah, it does kind of. We need yeah. to find something that's a little bit different. Yeah, in fact, it looks exact, well, not exactly, but really close. Really close. I do like the top of that one, but I think it's too much the same size. Yeah. Yeah, it's too much the same size. I like the look of those pictures, like the one on the top. Mm-hmm. Like wide mouth. Look at this. It's like a little, um, oh. it's like a hot dog stand. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, it, I don't know what it, what it's for. <laughs> used for. I don't think it was a hot dog stand, though. <laughs> but you could use it as one. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh. We have those under lock and key. Nick would probably like this uh, booth. Yeah, but, oh, yes, he would. I don't know. I think that might be really pretty in the downstairs bathroom. I need something to go above the window because there's a ton of wall space yeah, above the window. It's a really tall ceiling yeah. for a small room. So my mom and sister already beat me out to the truck, but I ended up with a beautiful framed painting. I like the painting, but I love the frame. And then two champagne buckets, which I will use for flower arranging. <laughs> Nice and bright out here today. Hey, did you happen to get the champagne buckets? Yes, I did. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we are now gonna go to a place for lunch called A Tavola. My sister-in-law's planned a little uh, baby shower luncheon for me there. Oh, I can't reach the seatbelt. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> anyway, a couple weeks ago, and it's this beautiful little like kind of delicatessen with a shopping area. They have a special Christmas store that's only open for six weeks out of the year, so it's probably closed at this point but it's a wonderful stop. Monica, you're gonna love it. I'm excited. Here we are for lunch. Isn't this a neat looking place? It'd be so fun to come back here when it's nicer out to eat outside. We've got the neatest gift stuff here. I bought a few Christmas gifts here a few weeks ago. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I like those. Oh my goodness, I just want to like... Isn't it like so much fun? Yeah, it's so much fun. So they've got like your lunch options over here. There's a case with pre-made stuff. And then a wonderful case full of beautiful foods. This right here is the curry chicken salad in a, in a sandwich. Oh, so good. So much yumminess. French onion grilled cheese. And then the risotto cakes. Can I have a curry chicken sandwich, please? Yes, you may. Okay. It's it's yummy. I had it a couple weeks ago. I loved it. Ooh, yummy. Pickled jalapenos. And then right over here is their dessert case. Look at how beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay, I want to go through everybody's lunch here. We got a curry chicken sandwich on my plate with the wonderful bed of fresh greens. This is a um, caramelized onion and cheese panini. Yum. And croque monsieur. Uh huh. And I have a, a little broccoli salad coming. Nice. <laughs> Seriously, so good. Lunch was good. So now we're gonna head. Where are we heading? Um, Another antique store? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually not sure what this next place is called, but it's where I bought my little bird-shaped box with topiaries this past summer. Look at this cute little yard with the greenhouse. And that's actually a shopping area in there. And they do really pretty perennials. Yeah, they do. The really beds pretty. up front, the yeah. whole area up front's all done up with perennials. So I like the little containers with the boxwoods up front here. Those look cute. Yeah. What did you find? That's really pretty. Look at that, how pretty oh, that wow. is. Isn't that beautiful? And the little chain. Look at these are actually metal. They're iron. Are they? Yeah. Aren't they pretty? Well, this right here with the bee, yeah. that is so pretty. pretty. More outside, you say? Oh yeah, look how cute. I think I read on the outside of the door that this place is called LA Junk. Is yep. that right? Yep. LA Junk. Yep. That's a cute little chandelier up there. That's really cute. There's some, I love the kind of colors in here. Yeah, it looks very soft. Kind of draws me to it. Mm -hmm. It's like out of Africa-esque in here. See, this is kind of the depth I'm thinking of, but bigger uh, openings for vases. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like just yeah. something kind of slender. Yeah. So nice. it might have to be a custom build <laughs> because oh. I think it might take me forever to find something that would fit yeah. fit that need. Just to do it that way and get yeah. Exactly how you want it. Plus that one's sold. So. <laughs> yeah, I think that is a super cute apron. You should show the back. You should do a spin. Yes. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I know. I <laughs> and so I just cute. bought these urns. Couldn't help it. I know. <laughs> so I just got two beautiful iron urns. Mom got a linen apron. Yes. And Monica, you got a bracelet? I did. Of all things. Yeah. <laughs> so random. So now we're going to head to a place called Enchanting Objects, which is one of our other favorite yes, stops here in Boise. Look at that urn. My word. That's a big one. I wonder if it's real, like iron. No. Nope. Wait, it sure looks like it. Yeah, it does. That's impressive. Yeah. Okie doke, here we go. Oh, look at these beds. Look at how yes, pretty those are. Pretty. But look at those <gasps> chandeliers. Oh, oh I like yeah. those. The windows look pretty hanging from your staircases. This is kind of a cool oh, nativity, look at isn't that? Nativity. Uh, that's pretty neat. These are neat too, these angels. Yes, they are. Or angel. Yeah. I don't know what the other one. Oh, it is an angel too. I don't see wings on that one. Oh yeah, those are neat. Mm -hmm. pretty? Yeah. This is pretty. All right, now we're in the outdoor portion. Oh. Pewter. Oh, it's that, you were looking for that, right? Kind of pewter sort of stuff. Yeah. Actually, I really like the plates. Yeah, those are cool. And Nick would love those. Uh huh. Those are twelve dollars. Eight for all twelve. And eight. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have a table that looks just like that one. We got a lot of texture and interest there. Let's see what's in this little house. Oh, sad. Oh, those succulents did not like the temperatures out here. Little Haworthias. Poor little babies. Ooh, but I do like this. Door knocker, that's cool. Where would I put such a thing? This is the place I bought my galvanized trough. It's kind of, it's a trough kind of, it's a rectangular shaped. I got it for $50, I thought it was such a good deal and I've used it for the past two years. So you just never know what you're gonna stumble upon. I love that little white iron twin bed over there. I think I just wanna stand out here in the sun and just soak up the sun shine right now. Oh, feels so good. Ooh, oh. Oh, I 
like that mirror. Oh my word, that's a beauty. Oh, so is this bed frame. What in the world, that's so pretty. I am looking for a new bed frame for our new guest room where the plant room was. Wouldn't that be beautiful in there? Mm. Monica found a full set of pewter dishes. Yes, I did. Big plates, little plates, and bowls. Nice. Yeah. What'd you buy? I found lots of books for Joseph's oh, new that's office. Right. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful books. And I came away with nothing, which is very rare. So the garden center that we were gonna stop at, we kind of drove through the parking lot really quick, but it looks really bare right now, which I don't blame them. It's January. Um, it looks like all of their plants were kind of huddled together with straw bales around them, all winterized. So we just decided to kind of forego that stop. So I don't think there's another garden center nearby anyway no to stop at no i don't think so so i think we're gonna go to a place called the village it's an eagle which is right outside of boise and it's a really pretty shopping kind of area and they've got beautiful fountains and that is the home to the best mexican mocha i have ever had <laughs> i've been looking forward to that since this morning <laughs> all right we have arrived that's just right around the, the way, yeah. isn't it? Uh -huh. thank you Yum. <laughs> Best Mexican mocha ever. Oh, every time. Every time it's so good. Relaxing, isn't it? Yeah. I think this is the perfect way to cap the day. I could sit here and watch this water show for hours. Leave it to Idaho to have this song for their water show. <laughs> All right, we just made it back to the house. We decided to take off a little earlier than we thought um, just to beat traffic because traffic over there has gotten so bad. Um, and so we got home in pretty good time before dinner anyway. Oh, okay, so the candle holders. I'm surprised we did not hear these. How did we not hear those? I don't know, but aren't they beautiful? Those are pretty. So like, hold that one up. I think this one's a little different, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, and you've already got some that are similar. Or, yeah. or do, you, do you have candle holders or just the dishes? I have dishes like this, and I think I might have one candle holder. I have two that look like this. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. Oh, should they come to my house? I'm thinking those should stay here. What are you talking about? They, they, I, I could have a collection. Did you think you had more than you did because of yeah. mine? Yeah. How funny. <laughs> okay, and then this is the picture that she bought. But I gotta take mine out first. Look what happened to my picture. What happened? Um, some of my friends fell off. What? Yeah, some of my ornateness. <gasps> For the ornateness? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some glue out. What? Where? It's right here. Oh, I see. That's probably when you slammed on the brakes that time. What are you saying? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Look. Well, at least oh. they're fairly good sized chunks. Yeah, I can totally glue that. Yeah. Or I could craft something. You could. You could. <laughs> All you need is a little gold paint and you yeah. could just dab that. Yeah, it'll be right fine. Up. I have the pieces. It's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang. Yep. And I see Benjamin's car seat worked out very nicely for yeah. my champagne buckets. AKA flower vases. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's my prize for the day though. Those I'm so excited about. I need Aaron to come out here to lift him down though. <gasps> Hi baby boy. What? I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. I'm home. I'm out in the driveway. I'll come in and say hi, okay? I love you. Thanks for the day. Thanks for driving. Yeah. Another adventure soon. Yes. Well, the next adventure is baby girl, I think. 
we are 12 days, well, yeah, just about 12 days now. I'll keep my phone on me. Okay. All times. At all times. Yes, I've yes. been warned. <laughs> oh, and look, there, there are my things. Yes. That, pretty. That's a pretty successful day, I'd say. That picture's gonna look pretty in the bathroom. I think so. Yeah, it's gonna look real pretty. All right. All right, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick look before I take everything inside. So there's just kind of a closer up look at the picture that I bought. The frame is just so pretty. I just love it so much. And I think that just this kind of muted painting, and it's real, it's a real oil painting, will look nice no matter where it goes. And if I end up finding something new to put in there, then great. If not, that's fine. And then these will be fun. It's always fun to have new vessels for flowers especially for larger size flower arrangements and i kind of noticed that i'm really short on larger size vases so i really kind of was excited to find these and then my new little urns which honestly like aaron came out here and uh unloaded them just now they're not super huge but they are they're fairly heavy but it's nice that they're narrow i don't have a ton of really narrow containers and sometimes you find yourself in need of something you can tuck into a smaller space and so i thought that these would look cute on our back sun porch or by our back kitchen door or even our front entrance door where i just don't have as much space to put big things so i kind of wanted to run these pots to the greenhouse real quick i don't know that i actually have any plants that would fit with these right now like evergreen wise but i think it's worth exploring real quick and i cannot believe how comfortable it feels out here in January like this is kind of crazy it's gonna cool off though I think in the next 10 days we've got two days that are calling for snow uh, which wouldn't be bad because I'm at the stage right now in my pregnancy where it's easier to wear snow boots than anything else but I gotta have snow on the ground to justify that okay what do we got out here I know I have some boxwoods but they're looking a little bit uh, I don't know if I want to use those maybe some tater tot arbs let me grab one. Oh, a couple of pinpoint blue cypress. That might be nice too. Let's try the arb first. That looks cute. Now it's down in the pot like it sunk down. Oh, it'll keep sinking down. But that's about the level it would be. That's really cute. Okay, let's try one of these. They both have a really fun look. I'm liking the tater tot arb a little bit better though. I think the uh, density is nice. And I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope it actually turned out. <laughs> it's a little bit different filming outside of your own home than being here and filming projects. And I tried to capture as much as I could. It was a really nice day just getting out of the normal routine and doing something fun uh, because that's probably the last antiquing outing before baby girl comes, which means it'll be a little while before I get out to do that again. So I really enjoyed the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye.